squares and square roots so this video will explain you complete information about squares and square roots especially this is for class 8 students ICC board so before that in this topic as well as other topics from the maths and other subjects I'll show you website here you can see the link in description below also now if you go through this you'll find out all the subjects chapter wise topic wise all the model papers including question banks also are available for free so you can download and subscribe this channel because we'll upload only the videos which are related to the education at the same time it's very helpful for students fine we'll start the topic now squares and square roots first we'll see what is a square so square of a number square of a number so the square of a number is that the number raised to the power 2 so the number raised to to the power 2 so that means for example if I take number 2 now square of 2 square of 2 is that is 2 to the power 2 so that is equal to 4 that means 2 into 2 now square of 9 so that is 9 is raised to the power 2 so that means 9 into 9 the same number you need to multiply 9 nines are 81 so 81 is the square of 9 similarly we can see the decimal numbers for example square of decimals as well as fractions for example the square of 3 by 7 that means 3 by 7 is raised to the power 2 ok 3 by 7 into 3 by 7 so 3 3 is a 9 and 7 7 is a 49 already we have seen some clear information in uh, exponents and powers right so how to multiply so in this ok the square of uh, decimal I am taking now 0 0.3 square of 0 0.3 0 0.3 whole square because to the raised to the power 2 so 0 0.3 into 0 0.3 that is 0 0.09 so already you know about this in decimals topic because after point there is only one digit here after point is one digit so finally in the result after point there should be two decimals 1 plus 1 This is the square of a number. What is perfect square? What is perfect square? A natural number is called a perfect square if it is a square of some natural number. So the number should be square of some natural number. Now we have 1 square is equal to 1 and 2 square is 4, 3 square is equal to 9, 4 square is equal to 16. So in this, each of these numbers, that is 1, see, this 1, 4, 9, 16, so these are all perfect squares. So 1, 4, 9, 16. Similarly, you can say a 5 square is 25, 6 square is 36. So, these are all the perfect square. So, we can define like that. A natural number is called a perfect square if it is the square of some other natural number. So, test for na number to be perfect square. So, how we can test? Now, this is a simple uh, small numbers. We know it. 1, 9, 16, 25, 36, so on. But if any big number is given, how to test which is a perfect square or not? So, how to do testing? Now, for example, I have given 7056. Now, this number I need to test whether it is perfect square or not. 
that means numbers multiplied with same number we should get 7056 okay for this we'll apply the prime factorization method so product of pairs so we can write prime factorization method that your if you know okay otherwise just one second listen here 7056 we should divide with this only prime numbers okay the prime numbers are primes 2 3 5 7 11 11 so with the product of primes we should write this 7056 no first prime number is 2 because 2 divisible then that is 2 3 is 6 carry 10 5 2 is 4 8 again we can divide with two table 1 7 6 so how to do prime factorization if you don't know you can see other videos also is there now this is the method to find out the prime factorization with the prime numbers we need to do division now again two table 28 the 16 one carry 8 16 to 441 now come with the three table because two is not possible 441 if you take 3 1 4 it is 721 3 three table 3 is 12 27 is 9 again this you can write 7 7 the 49 7 the 7 now if you observe these are all the prime numbers 2 3 7 so finally we can write 7056 is equals to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 4 times 2 again 3 into 3 into 7 into 7 right So these all, if you multiply at the same time, we get seven thousand fifty-six. Now every number should be at least two two times. Two, two into two, three into three, seven to seven. So this is two square. Again, one more two square, and three square, and seven square. So we can express it as the product of pairs of equal factors. product of pairs of equal factors pair means to write pairs of equal product so we can write like this so that's what this 7056 is a perfect square so again in order to multiply if you multiply again same answer will come if we can write product of pairs of equal products equal factors so this equal factors so 2 3 7 are the factors so pairs of equal factors if you can write that product that number is nothing but is a perfect square let me take one more example We'll check whether it's a perfect square or not. Nine thousand seventy-five. We need to verify this is perfect square or not. So what we should do? We should do prime factorization. Product of prime factorization. Nine thousand seventy-five. So last it is a units place is five. You can divide it five table directly also. Otherwise three nine plus seven. 16, 16 plus 5, 21. So it's divisible by three table. Three, three is a nine. Zero. Three two is a six. Five is a fifteen. Three table is not possible now. Take five. Five six is a thirty. Two nine more set carrying. Two five is a twenty-five. Five table. Five one is a five. Ten means two. One. This we can write eleven. Eleven is a one twenty-one. And eleven one is eleven. So finally, nine thousand seventy five. I can write three into five into five into eleven into eleven. So if you multiply these all numbers again, you'll get nine thousand seventy five only. If you observe, this is a five is a factor. There is a pair. 
two numbers 11 but is 3 is only 1 so for this no pair right for this no pair that means 9075 is a not perfect square so it is not perfect square so we cannot write that number full number is the product of pairs of equal factors so 3 is a number but no additional number for 3 right this is the way we can test the given number is a perfect square or not so next we will see what is the square root and how to find out the square root